I originally moved to Broomfield in 1961 and I was 19. There just isn't any other place I've ever wanted to live. I think Broomfield has always cared about the people that are here now and the people that are coming. I've lived here long enough that I know the, the clerks at the grocery stores and the people that own the restaurants. And that's the thing about Broomfield. Broomfield cares. And it comes across in everything that they do. It's just that people want to share, people want to give, and they want to care about each other. The Bruner House really has a lot of history in it. The house was built in 1903. Well, Broomfield's history is in the farmland, and that's definitely a farmhouse. I talked him into letting me take over the responsibility for the house. So I got the assignment of starting a citizen committee to come up with a purpose for the house, a means of financing it, and of implementing it. We just decided that the nonprofit organizations in Broomfield needed a place to meet. So we started a program of raising money. And it was unbelievable what we got, the contributions that we got for that house. We spent the whole year of 2005 renovating that house with a lot of people in the community helping us. Every time I drive by and I see cars in the parking lot, I just love it. It's just something that I'm real proud of. I'm really, really proud of. But see, you can see some of the purple in coming through. It's going to pop this cat out and make him stand out from the background. There was a lot of things that I wanted to see the city and county do. One of them was establish public art. Through public art, I mean, that's the way that you share your art and everybody appreciates art. I've always looked at that art kind of accredits a person uh, with their own abilities and skills and it reinforces their capabilities of producing something great that nobody else can. We have a lot of veterans in Broomfield and that's why now we have a veterans museum. They want to tell their story. I met some of the veterans, and they were just getting ready to put the museum together. One of the things that I wanted to do for them was paint the mural at the Veterans Museum. I had drawn out the 100 Years of War, which took up the whole side of the room. I started in the Civil War and took it through Vietnam. Anyhow, I really enjoyed doing that for them. I'm real proud of that, and I know that they enjoy it. I had to do something that related to Broomfield. So that's where I came up with doing the growth of Broomfield, doing uh, the original Broomfield and the current Broomfield. I developed five abstracts, big abstracts, and it's the city limits of Broomfield, which are really strange because Broomfield has never been a square. So I donated them and they're in the conference room of community development, right where they should be. They're now in the permanent collection of the city. I know that they promote a hometown Broomfield. Some people think that Broomfield's gotten too big, and I don't think Broomfield will ever get too big. I think as long as we keep that feeling of caring about each other, it doesn't make any difference how big we get. <laughs>